We formulate the estimation of dense depth maps from video sequences as a problem of intrinsic image estimation. Intrinsic images correspond to physical properties of the scene, such as depth, shading, albedo, surface boundaries and optical flow. It is a long-standing hypothesis that these fundamental scene properties provide a foundation for scene interpretation. While recent work has focused on estimating surface reflectance and shading, the original hypothesis of Barrow and Tenenbaum was that all these image-based representations should be estimated together, synergistically exploiting consistency between them. Here, we test the specific hypothesis that the extraction of shading and albedo improves the estimation of depth. We build upon a recent example-based depth estimation method called depth transfer. This method matches RGB patches to a database of images with known depth maps. It then estimates scene depth by combining the example depth patches while enforcing spatial and temporal coherence. Raw pixel values, however, are not directly related to physical scene structure. Here we show that working with albedo and shading instead of RGB values, we significantly improve depth estimation. We call our method intrinsic depth. Our database of exemplars contain sequences with RGB images, depth maps, albedo, shading and optical flow. Given a query sequence, we compute the albedo, shading and flow using the intrinsic video method. We then match patches of RGB, albedo, shading and flow between the query and the database. Corresponding depth maps are then warped to the query video using SIFT flow. We use a new dataset with ground truth albedo, shading and surface boundaries to train decision forests to detect edges. These edges are likely to correspond to surface boundaries and we use them in regularizing the depth maps. Structure from motion provides accurate but sparse pointwise depth. We construct rough proxy depth maps by using video segment volumes to densify the sparse points. These maps are neither dense nor consistent over time. We regularize the estimated depth using the contours and proxy maps. Optical flow temporarily links them during optimization. Finally, we obtain accurate, coherent and dense depth maps over time that preserve strong surface discontinuities. This indoor scene with various objects is captured by a moving camera. We extract intrinsic images and use them synergistically for depth estimation. The baseline depth transfer method, on the left, estimates over smooth and inaccurate depth. Our method, in the middle, estimates dense depth values preserving strong surface boundaries, similar to the ground truth. The fully metric method performs overall well, but the area at the bottom center shows large depth errors. Please use red and cyan stereo glasses for evaluating the anaglyph conversion. In this example, the viewer passes through a door to a room beyond that is clearly at a distinct depth. The baseline depth transfer method fails to distinguish these regions and smoothly connects the door area with the scene beyond. In contrast, our method detects clear boundaries between the regions. The fully metric method fails here and, in general, we found that it performs poorly on indoor scenes. The baseline method misses the shape of most desks. Our depth map captures shape and depth of those desks precisely so that the objects pop out significantly. The fully metric method assigns very little depth variation of the nearby area. In this example, the depth of the pile of laundry is challenging to recover due to its irregular and complex shape. Depth transfer mistakenly estimates the laundry to be far from the camera. Intrinsic depth correctly estimates this region with clear boundaries. The fully metric method performs well, but some areas on the top show large depth errors. This cluttered scene is captured by a moving camera. The baseline method estimates blurry depth, almost missing the shape of the foreground objects. Our method in the middle shows dense depth values similar to the ground truth. The fully metric method estimates noisy and inaccurate depth values. This scene with several objects is captured by a moving camera. In this scene, the baseline depth transfer method completely misses the structure of the chairs. Our depth well captures the shape and varying depths of the chairs. Depth from the fully metric method shows large errors around the right bottom area. Here, the arm of a chair is the closest object in the scene, but it is missing in the previous result. Ours shows its depth and boundaries clearly, and the roof over the bed also shows accurate depth. Depth from the fully metric method is noisy and inaccurate. This example captures an outdoor scene. 
the camera is translating, creating parallax, and the scene is extremely deep. As expected, depth transfer only captures a crude overall shape. Our method estimates the scene structure well, including sharp boundaries between objects. Our results are comparable to the fully metric method, which, unlike our method, is tuned for outdoor scenes. In this sequence, our method again performs well. Notice that our method captures the thin structure of the bench and the fact that the sky is distant. Our method also works on scenes with non-rigid motion. Here, we see a person walking through a room while the camera is moving. The baseline method, with its motion segmentation heuristics, still produces blurry depth overall. The fully metric method cannot deal with the non-rigid motion of the person. In contrast, the depth of both the scene and the person is recorded by intrinsic depth. Our method performs consistently better than the previous methods in this example. Intrinsic depth records the depth of both the scene and the moving person, with clear boundaries. We have demonstrated a new method for intrinsic depth estimation on a range of challenging indoor and outdoor sequences. The results demonstrate that an integrated approach to intrinsic image estimation is beneficial for reasoning about scenes and their structure. Specifically, we show that replacing pixel values with shading and albedo in an example-based depth estimation method significantly improves performance. Shading, for example, is more directly related to the physical properties of the world, including surface boundaries. We see our intrinsic depth method as a modest step towards a more integrated estimation of intrinsic images, including depth, flow, reflectance, shading, and surface boundaries.